Are you a family seeking an ideal blend of coastal living and exceptional education in Vero Beach, Florida? Will your children be attending the prestigious St. Edwards Private School? Join us as we explore three premier beachside communities tailored for families looking for a neighborhood feel and the ideal place to call home in convenient, close proximity to your child's school. So first on our list is Castaway Cove, a charming and large neighborhood that spans from Oceanside to Riverside on Vero Beach's Barrier Island. Castaway Cove is a gated community. In two of its sections, it is guard gated. Castaway offers a very traditional neighborhood vibe, winding streets, mature trees and landscaping, medium to large size homes with a good mix of styles. Castaway Cove off also offers a private beach access to the Atlantic Ocean, private river access to the Indian River Lagoon. It offers beachfront, interior, perimeter, and riverfront lots. And when I say interior, I mean the homes back up to another home. When I say perimeter, I mean that the homes back up to the perimeter of the community. And sometimes that's a privacy wall uh, or a fen the fence line of a neighboring community. And then obviously waterfront is waterfront either on the uh, beach, on the ocean, or on the river. The HOA fees are going to range from around $105 a month to $197 a month, depending on which section or wave you are in. This covers common area maintenance and expenses associated with the security gate. Its close-knit community vibe and easy access to St. Edward's School makes it a top choice for families prioritizing education and a beachside lifestyle. Next, we have Seagrove, an exclusive community that combines upscale coastal living with family-centric amenities. Situated just two communities north of St. Edward's School, Seagrove also offers Oceanside and Riverside sections of its community. It is also guard-gated for added peace of mind and also has a private beach access and a private river access. And in this community, you can find beachfront, interior, lakefront, perimeter and riverfront lots. Be around $230 a month in Seagrove East and about $350 a month in Seagrove West, which covers the common area maintenance and expenses associated with the security gates, much like Castaway Cove. Seagrove captivates families with its collection of luxurious residences boasting meticulous architecture, designs, and upscale finishes. These homes offer spacious layouts, stunning views, blending coastal elegance with modern comforts. And finally, we reach the third community that I'm going to recommend, the Moorings. Right off the bat, what's unique about the Moorings compared to the other two communities is the golf course, tennis courts, and yacht club, and the clubhouse. In Vero Beach, the Moorings Yacht and Country Club is one of the most esteemed and luxurious. And I'm going to take a second and actually brag here. I feel like a name dropper, I guess. But John and I were actually married at the Moorings Country Club. It was a glorious wedding and my fondness for the Moorings has lasted to this day. The Moorings is not a gated community, but offers a prestigious gated section known as the anchor because the land is actually shaped like a boat anchor, which I actually find so amusing. The Moorings community is expansive. There's an oceanside section with single family homes and another with condos. There's a riverside section that also has condos, townhomes, and single family homes too. There's a section that runs along the golf course and the community offers oceanfront, interior, perimeter, and riverfront lots. The single family homes in the moorings with the exception of the anchor section has a voluntary HOA. Opting into the moorings property owners association provides private beach access and security patrol at just $38 per month. The Moorings Club membership is a separate offering and those rates uh, vary depending on availability. You are able to inquire directly with the Moorings Club about that if interested, but I do want to clarify, living in the Moorings does not obligate you to join the club, nor does it grant you automatic access to it. It is a separate deal. In the anchor section of the moorings, that HOA fee is approximately $333 per month covering common area maintenance and expenses associated with the security gate. 
The Moorings offers residents an unparalleled coastal living experience. Families here benefit from the convenience of being near St. Edward's School while indulging in the upscale yet also family-friendly atmosphere. You can find more information about St. Edward's School and the Moorings Yacht and Country Club memberships on their consecutive websites. If you're looking at the best real estate options for your family in Vera Beach, I'm here to help. I'm a 10-year Vera Beach resident. I have two children and we're very active members of this community and our schools. Leave me any questions below in the comments or reach out to me at Rachel, R-A-C-H-A-E-L, at thecarolteam.net directly. I'm happy to help answer any questions and assist you with your home search here. And check out my other videos about the best Vero Beach neighborhoods for families. And do me a favor, if this video was helpful to you, let me know by hitting that like button and subscribing. Thanks so much. Thank you for tuning in. You all have a blessed week. See you next week.